Well, we've got uh, Graham Borgfjord is doing something for the very first time. That's right. He's going to be funny. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. He's got a book club. I can't promise it'll be funny. <laughs> One, two, three, four! <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's been a while. I'm glad you remember the book club song. All right, so uh, today's book, uh, we're actually doing a cookbook for the first time ever on book club. And today's is uh, by Foti Fotenhauer. It's called Natural Harvest, a collection of semen-based <coughs> recipes. What? I'll say that again. Natural <laughs> Harvest, a collection of semen-based recipes. Every recipe in this cookbook involves human semen. Ew. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I don't know, but it's already in its second printing. People are buying this. Oh, man. So I'll, I'll read you the description from the book cover. Okay, semen is not only nutritious, but it also has a wonderful texture and amazing cooking properties. Like fine wine and cheeses, the taste of semen is complex and dynamic. <laughs> Semen is inexpensive to produce and is commonly available <laughs> is commonly available in many, if not most, homes and restaurants. Despite all these positive qualities, semen remains neglected as a food. This book hopes to change that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Guys, you gotta let me get through this. Once you overcome any initial hesitation, you'll be surprised to learn how wonderful semen is in the kitchen. Semen is an exciting ingredient that can give every dish you make an interesting twist. If you are a passionate cook and are not afraid to experiment with new ingredients, you will love this cookbook. How long? All right, well, we, got, we got zombies in the studio. I better hurry up. Because that's right, this is a cookbook. All the recipes involve semen, so if you've ever wanted to make almost white Russians, spunky spiced pecans, or cloudy ice cubes, you can pick up a copy. You go to uh, lulu.com. The book is twenty four ninety five. dollars uh, If you find a used copy, don't buy it. Because that is just gross. No one wants a used semen cookbook. And the, the, the best part of all this, uh, you go to the website, and you know um, well, when you're buying books online, it also says, you know, customers who bought this book also bought these ones. People who bought the book of semen recipes also bought Cooking with a Serial Killer, recipes from Dorothea Puente. And a book on how to make your own shampoo. <laughs> One, two, three, four! <laughs>